Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club and remember to subscribe. It's a fact today there is a consistent level of takeoff and landing accidents. I've heard many instructors say you can't do much to stop people having brain fade and I would agree where someone just simply does the wrong thing, perhaps on takeoff a pilot fails to bring the stick back or hasn't pre-rotated to a high enough value. Last month I gave you some examples of the kind of snags that existed in the takeoff phase. This film, we look at landings, and it's this area where the problem is mainly poor technique, which is a training issue. Mentally, the pilot must understand that the landing starts with the approach. It needs to be stable, which means the aircraft is trimmed for your chosen approach speed, and you need to have a plan. You can decide your own plan, but at some point, you have to know what makes you choose a go around as your best option because you can't continue to the ground and then decide. The main factor in gyroplane landing accidents are yaw and drift. Rounding out high and getting slow is also common but actually it's the yaw and drift that makes it get ugly as this MT pilot demonstrates. Here are some further examples of a pilot doing different things that makes for inconsistent landings. Some elements might be subtle, but it's to highlight that the little things that can snag you. This pilot is actually on his first solo. He's already done four touch and goes to the numbers and now thinks it would be a good idea to hover taxi to vacate. Never do this without experience and the ability to do it well, because you can see this almost went wrong and the after landing process is poor with high taxi speed on bumpy grass that's asking for rotor management issues. We'll see the same pilot again on final approach this time for the tarmac runway. Part of his problem is that he doesn't trim so he's actually hand flying the final approach the whole time which leads to instability. You can see the stick movement and this landing has a lot of right yaw as power is chopped. It's nothing sophisticated, but you can see just how big the movement is, and at some point, you don't keep getting away with that. This approach was high because he turned base early, and because of a lack of trim regime, this approach is much faster. We were at 70 before, we're now at 90, and consequently we float for a long time. And because of the lack of directional control, we have a huge amount of right drift. You can see that it doesn't take much error to have a large effect. And the key to note here is the issue at touchdown started by turning base early and being high. If you recognize either an unstable approach or a buildup of yaw and or drift, you must go around. Landing accidents can be prevented in the main by just doing the basics well. I'll leave you with the same pilot on approach to a new airfield. 